yesterday's set. Uh, that was set by me. It was a Genish quiz. Okay, so here we go. So the first question was about uh, Ayore Gorkhali, early 70s. Very pop culture question. A logo by a legendary hotshot. Billions of dollars in branding and merchandising. So what I was looking for here was the Rolling Stone logo. The Rolling Stone logo which was inspired by Goddess Kali. And the typical tongue which is a lot of times confused for the tongue of Mick Jagger. Uh, the Rolling Stones front man. So the first answer is the Rolling Stones logo. Question number two. So, Otherworldly Injustice, pretty appropriately titled because the movie is E.T. or the Extraterrestrial. And so, we have X here as Satyajit Ray, Y here as Steven Spielberg, and Z here as Honorary Oscar. So, this was one of the popular stories of how Satyajit Ray's story was plagiarized to make the concept of E.T. as well as another small movie called Close Encounters. And... Uh, Steven Spielberg, as a sort of ode to him in 1992, sponsored the honorary Oscar for him. And that's how he made it up. So, let's move on to question number three. This was easy. Alliterative wishes. The star of Jerusalem, which you can see on her socks. So, the answer is happy Hanukkah to all those who celebrate it on Earth. Jessica Meyer is the astronaut from ISS. So... Let's move on. Question number four. This is My Name is Eow, a documentary, tough job for parents, UNESCO. So the funda behind here is that this village called Kong Thong in Meghalaya, people do not have names there. People have whistling tunes as their name. So they use whistling tunes as their identities. Whenever they are born, they are given this one minute whistling tune and that's how people communicate and recognize each other. So, anything related to whistling and we have given marks here. So, question number 5. Hollywood destination, cryptographic, 29Xs in 1942. So, what I was looking for here was the Navajo code. That's why the new entry or Nav Ao. So, that's what I gave the clue as. So, it's Navajo code. Navajo was a tribe in the 1940s whose code was used for US Marine Corps. And this is the famous Monument Valley or Navajo Reservation. So, moving on. Question number six. Highly contested Asian choke point, cheap ammunition. A was the, the one and only Khyber Pass. Khyber Pass copies are what they're known as. Pretty dangerous ammunition. Never, never touch them. And the B clan that I was looking for was, is this guy who is none other than Shahid Afridi. So, the clan that I was looking for is the Afridi clan and A is this the Khyber Pass Railway. So, answer is Khyber Pass and the Afridis. So, moving on. Question number 7. ID the brands. Pretty alternative sloganish stuff. Don't read the comments. Please don't. It's YouTube of course. Especially don't read the comments below Baby by Bieber. I'm sorry Bieber fans but that's how I feel. Next, connect with people for no reason at all. Uh, it has to be LinkedIn, right? Like People have some reason, but a lot of times it does not materialize. So, this is LinkedIn. Smell like grandpa. And this is Old Spice with the signature ship logo. Uh, moving on, this is question number 8. Avant-garde European art. A French derivative of toy horse. And a rhyming word of tada. So, the answer is Dada or as we say Dada in West Bengal as you all know. Dada the sportsman and Idi Amin the African dictator or the Ugandan dictator was also known as Dada. So the style that I was looking for was Dadaism. This is a Duchamp's parody. Uh, it's also part of Dada art and this is also a painting by Max Ernst. So, answer for this is Dadaism or Dada. Whichever you have given is fine. So, ninth question, uh, this was, uh, no, okay, this was a different question that I put. So, ninth question was about uh, this guy who is known for completely something else, but was a painter in the beginning. And so, inspiring him, a painting was made about 100 years later. So, the answer for this was Samuel Morse. 
Moore's famous for its Moore's code was actually a painter at first. He painted a lot of stuff, especially paintings of the American Rotunda or the Capitol building. And the other painting was the Broadway Boogie Woogie with its signature bars and dashes. So that's what I was looking for, Broadway Boogie Boogie as a reference to the Moore's code or Samuel Morse. So answer number nine was Samuel Morse or Morse if you have given it. Question 10, pretty easy peasy. So this is a famous painting, uh, none other than Michelangelo with that half lazed position. And Senor Mario is actually referring to the creation of Adam, a painting by Michelangelo on the wall of the Sistine Chapel. So this is the creation of Adam, one of the most parodied works in history. Question 11. Okay, so this is Jenny in a weird position and a famous painting. So this was Christina's World. Christina's World uh, by Andrew Wyeth, a 1948 painting. And I have pretty much given you everything here, just not the colors. This is the schema for that painting. Uh, this is Christina's World. Question number 12. This is this consumer society, novel, sculpture, complete union of nature and tech. So what we are looking here is 40,000 workers. That was the clincher. So these are 40,000 bee workers, the worker class of bees. And this guy actually made a sculpture with live bees. All these small, small holes that you might see are actually the places where the bees stuck in and, you know, created bee wax. And then he removed that scaffold. So that's how he made this sculpture. Okay, so this was art, 13th question. This was Mysore, Mysore paints coming from Mahisasur or the Buffalo Demon officially changed to Mysuru. Pretty easy. Next question was Ponani, Kerala. Okay, we have got a lot of interesting answers for this one. But uh, I think the correct answer was multi-member constituencies. So before 1950 in UK and in 1962 before India, so we had this multi-member constituency like uh, even three people have been elected from one constituency before 1962. So this was one of those multi-member constituencies and what they started in Y was actually reserved constituencies for the SCs and STs. That's what was started as Y. So uh, FITB is multi-member constituencies or any related panda that you've given me and Y is none other than reserved constituencies. So question number 15 is this colloidal set and dangerous, readily available, cure all, Gwyneth Paltrow, Elder Smurf, right? So this is silver salt, some people have given, but the correct answer is silver nitrate is what I am looking for. Silver nitrate is a salt used to make photofilms by staining. And if you have not gotten the connect right now, so the connect for these three questions was indelible ink. Indelible ink is made by only mysore paints and varnishes and it started from 1962 and its main ingredient is the silver nitrate. Okay, so that was that for yesterday. This is the answer slide. If you want to look at it for a few seconds, I'll freeze it. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. OCD guys, I'm really sorry with the alignment, I think I've messed it up completely, but uh, please bear with me that. Okay, so, all right. So, let's move on to today's quiz. Ah, before that, how can I forget? Winners for the quiz yesterday, as usual, Anindita Basura are topping with 15 points, Dev Dev Moitra with 13, Aditya Thakre with 12, Manish Padhan 11, Vinay Handa 9, Ishid Bhardwaj with 6. Okay, guys, all the best for today. Give some quite interesting answers, even if they are not correct. We'll do. You'll get some brownie points. Okay. So, let's move on. Okay. So, here's question number one from Sahil Shama set from Bangalore. And here we go. So, it's a pretty basic question. Literal meaning of this procession is sacred and that which is forbidden. So, something forbidden and something sacred and you can read the rest of it I'll give you a moment okay 
so that's enough moments i guess which annual procession sacred forbidden pretty easy peasy to begin with okay so i'm closing it in five four three two one and let's move on okay so question number two is he was invited to referee the james jeffries jack johnson heavyweight championship this was a heavyweight championship in reno nevada and uh, he was also elected captain of the crow row beacon golf club in sussex played football as a goalkeeper and amateur side of course and under the pseudonym ac smith and entered the english amateur billiards championship in 1913 so let's just absorb that for a minute so this guy this uh, jack of all trades you know this uh, referee for a heavyweight championship captain of a golf club of a damn goalkeeper as well as an amateur footballer and billiards player now what we are looking for is this mystery man pretty giveaway and we know him because of one famous doctor so we are more familiar with the trivia of this doctor's exploits in another sport in which his only victim was another famous doctor so look at the word play give me one famous doctor famous yeah absolutely a famous doctor read it again process the place process the person process the famous doctor okay i'll give you some time to read it again any clarifications any doubts or any hints you can reach out on the comment section Michael Angelo, not Michael. Ah, thank you, Anindita Di. All right, so we'll move on from this question. Last few seconds. Famous doctor, a rather famous military doctor, a famous guy with uh, all these sports accolades, and the mystery man. So, who are we talking about? Who is known? for this famous doctor okay so let's move on this is another pretty easy question so we have two countries x and y we have three people three pretty pretty hard looking people and pretty pretty hard decision makers so one we have india and pakistan second we have india and china third of course but of course we have x and y so think pretty much one way to think about this don't look at the guys pretty much yes of course you want to know where from they are look at the places and just give me x and y Okay, I think you can see a part of his decoration there. If that might be a hint. Okay. Pretty interesting beards. That same old suit. So, think about what all these countries, you know, might have in common with the photographs in question. and give me x and y and of course if you get x and y you'll surely get the guy that is placed just below them okay so we'll move on question number 4 this bird lived in grassland scrubland and coastal regions of new zealand but is now so rare that they can be only seen on protected offshore islands so what they mean is night parrot blah 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 in the maori language so tell me the name of this bird think of a bird it might be a til for a lot of people but 
it is what it is its me name means night parrot night parrot okay so look at it it is uh, how is it usual for which question are you talking about arindita di okay so we have bird lived in grassland scrubland uh, a bird from new zealand give me any creative guess so i think you need a hint for this one so think football and think a famous psychological thriller writer and just mix their names and you get this particular creature so i'll repeat think of a popular popular football guy and a very uh, dark psychological thriller writer guy and just mix their names together and you will get this name so if you have no clue what this might mean or what might be so just give me creative etymology Okay, I think we have had enough time for this one. So let's move on. Last few seconds. Five, four, three, and it's sold. Okay, famous player, famous writer, just go for it. Okay, next question. Balbir Singh Senior and Shiva Keshavan, only athletes, uh, to be given the honor for more than one occasion. Balbir Singh Senior got the honor two times, while Shiva Keshavan leads the list with four times. So what are we talking about? So give me what am I talking about? So read the names: Balbir Singh Senior, Shiva Keshavan, only athletes who have been given this honor. Balbir Singh, the legendary centre forward. And Shiva Keshavan, of course, you know. So these two guys, what might just link them? And what are we talking about? Okay, I think we are having a bit of a lag. Please tell me if you are having it too. Okay. So we'll move on with this question. Balbir Singh Senior, Shiva Keshavan. Uh, what might connect them? What actual honor might connect them? Don't think of a prize that's too mainstream. Think of something related, but not a mainstream award that we are talking about here. Okay. So let's move on with this question. Okay, in this strategy, soldiers marching in rows align their shields to protect themselves from all sides, including the top, just like sides and top of the box. So, which animal is the inspiration for this formation? So, we have soldiers. We have this, you know, battle tactic, and protecting themselves from all sides. Which animal is the inspiration for this formation? So. just imagine you are watching bahubali or just imagine you are watching the last scene of 300 and king leonidas sacrificing himself and just think what they actually did and what did that formation actually look like so protect themselves all sides including the top top of the box which animal only one animal that can appeal to this kind of stuff so 
just work it imagine it and give me the correct answer so soldiers marching battle tactics 300 bahuli and animal and that's sold so moving on question number seven 14 prime ministers of india total of six states up gujarat andhra pradesh karnataka are the four states so which are the other two states 0.5 for each Fourteen prime ministers don't think about where they were actually born just think about their representation so we have representation from UP Gujarat Andhra Karnataka so which are the other two states give me the states and if you have no clue just give me the two largest states we can think of so These guys are not really known for being from the places that we're talking about. So these are guys pretty famous, but not known for that particular place. So work it like that. What might make you, you know, get elected from an obscure seat? And what might those two states Okay, work it. And we will be moving on just in a minute. Okay, so pretty famous two guys with two seats from places which might or might not have been their places of origin so just give me these two states and there we are we move on question number eight so this two word term xy refers to the period from the early 1950s to 1960s when repression and censorship as of course in the soviet union were relaxed millions of soviet prisoners were released from labor camps due to excess policies why is a word that means a period of warm weather so give me the two word term so guys this is uh, pretty pretty easy so and you'll just get it so 50s and 60s repression censorship you know who was undone by this famous guy and why is a word that means a period of warm weather and appropriately because it's always used in a context which is particularly related to the soviet union and some of the harsh dashes they have so just think of a period of warm weather a really really harsh dash that is a particular trademark of the soviets and think of excess policies and pretty probable guess so just walk the next term that is why and you will reach xy okay so I am having some new announcements which I'll announce in a short while. Until then, last 10 seconds for XY. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Undone 
injustice y period of warm weather so give me x and y be creative okay next so the next one is uh, third entry in this list would form an exhaustive list connect and name the third identity so just look at these two posters so un film de federico fellini so if you can use that to get a timeline it's pretty great les nui de caviria un film de federico fellini de nachten van caviria so it's a film by federico fellini another we have is pele el conquistador uh, which from spanish will translate to pele the conquistador and so this is actually a danish origin movie and the other one we have is la nui de caviria so just give me what the third entry in the list would be a and give me what connects all of these so just look at the timeline that federico fellini maybe and look at pe el conquistador which you might just work out so think of other movies during this time period so these movies uh, had a time lag of say about 30 years or so so work it out like that so give me the third entry in this list and tell me what would connect all of these so la nui de caviria federico fellini Peye El Conquistador, a heroic movie, very critically acclaimed, won the Palme d'Or for that year. And uh, these two movies have a time lag of say about thirty years. So just think, what might actually be pretty important? Ah, I think you can look at the year as well here. So that's a pretty pretty good giveaway. So. you have got one year just add 30 to it and just think of what those two years may hit you all right so here we go half half each for the third entity as well as a connect that you can give me okay so we move on okay question number 10 world war 2 during the 1940 blitzkrieg the luftwaffe often struck under the cover of darkness so in order to make it more difficult the british government issued city wide blackouts now in these blackouts the raf was able to repel the german fighters only because of a new new secret radar tech so basically what it tried to do was hide the existence of this tech of course they had to right so they promoted with a lot of advertisements and all that all of this ability of the raf to shoot down german fighters in complete darkness was just because of one particular vegetable tada that started a popular popular myth around this vegetable well it is a pseudo kind of a myth and people still do believe in it my mom still keeps harking on about it so who just might think that this is a family affair i don't know so think about this vegetable and think about a popular myth around this vegetable so the 1940 blitz creek winston churchill luftwaffe hitting england and the british government the raf shooting down german fighters in pure darkness so what vegetable work out vegetables work out blackouts work out fighters work out the art of interesting advertisements so i think this is a pretty good question but it's still pretty workable okay i'll give you a few more moments to read the question
British government, citywide blackouts, RAF, pretty hardcore stuff. And all because of that one vegetable, right? The magic vegetable of all. To be honest, a pretty shitty vegetable of all. But well, it is what it is. Okay, so we'll move on. Question number 11. So this company was founded in 1968 by D.B. Gupta, professor of chemistry, Pitts Pilani. Gupta moved to Bombay in the 60s to work on his business enterprise. So he had borrowed this rupees 5000 from his wife to fund his venture. Which company? So every quiz is incomplete without a bit of trivia. And this is the business trivia part that we are coming to. So D.B. Gupta, not D.B. Cooper, is not remotely as interesting as that guy. So this is D.B. Gupta, a chem professor at Pitts Pilani. He recently, not recently, uh, if you say a couple of years, he died. Uh, his wife, he borrowed rupees 5,000. She was pretty influential in his company too. So which company am I talking about? It is pretty pretty much in news right now. So you might guess which sector I'm talking about. So DB Gupta, Pits Pilani, rupees 5000 wife to fund his venture. Well, nobody can blame their wives right now, right? This guy become became a billionaire from that initial 5000. So there's a woman everywhere, right? So, another trivia is that uh, after the death of this guy, so his wife took over the company for a couple of years and then they had a change of plans. So, tell me this pretty, pretty Indian giant, professor of chem, business enterprise, and D.B. Gupta. Okay. So, goodbye Gupta ji. Going on to the next question. Question number 12. So, look at this guy. Pretty, pretty well captured shot. Name the company and the founder. So, this is as simple as that. Just go with whatever you want to. This is again a best trivia. Not a trivia. Crucible guys, Crucible guys, if you are spectating, you should get this in a flash. Or big brain might really pick your brains out. So, give me this founder and give me this company. So, even if you can't get me the guy who did it, you can pretty much uh, give me the company. So, it's one of those Bombay based conglomerates and they are also in news if you read money control. So give me this company and give me this founder. I think I'll wait in on this fascinating shot of this guy to catch him closely. He's no Kate Winslet, but yeah, he's an important guy. Okay, so we'll move on from question number 12. Company and founder part points for both. And let's move on. Question number 13. So, early 1950s, Hendrik Bernat worked for an apple jam factory called Granja Asturias, making lollipops. Investors left. Company was taken over in 1958 and renamed. So, Madonna, the one and only Madonna once endorsed this product. So, ID the brand. So, just look at the apple jam factory's name. And the fact that it was privatized only after 1975. 
that gives you a country and give me a country a sector that fits all in so i did a brand it's now owned by another european major a european major these guys are pretty hit pretty pretty bad right now so i don't know how many dashes are being made right now but this company is very famous one okay gran ha asturias and uh, a lot of lot of interesting trivia with this company so a very famous surrealist artist had a connection to this company i think that might be a giveaway for some but yeah i'll still give it a very famous artist of this country uh, and he was known for his antics and one of them was he also gave the slogan for this particular company all right i think we have given you enough time to id the brand pretty smart alliterative name so okay we'll move on question number 14 coming up last few seconds asturias bernat italian major id the brand okay and of course i shouldn't have forgotten madonna okay next question question 14 titled portraits completed the award winning campaign from a brand completes the bottom half of famous paintings so id the brand and name the paintings in question number 15 1 point each give me the brand and give me the paintings so i'll show you a picture in a minute just oh, wait a minute so this award winning campaign so look at these three parts of paintings so what do you have to give me is basically x y z which are the paintings and the ad campaign which connects them all right title put is completed award winning campaign brand and a pretty ironic brand name because well we should guess why pretty ironic brand name and look at these three pictures so you can see the classical style of this not classical but a pretty pretty trademark style of this guy with this intense and vibrant brush work so you have to give me why funnily enough uh, a spectacles company also used this particular painting although a different part of this particular painting look at x imagine who would wear these shoes and uh, imagine what kind of a person in what kind of a position would you be looking at at x pretty famous painting very very famous painting so i don't think anybody has ever cared to focus on where we are focusing but yeah it's pretty pretty famous so a black version was made also called la venus negra by a black artist with a similar conception uh but so you have to give me the original x y and of course i don't think i'm going to give you any clues for z because this is one that well you should get any part right any part if i'm focusing you should get that so i don't know how that brand applies to z but well it does so xyz famous paintings and id the brand name of the paintings in question number 15 okay we'll move on so I had wanted one brand and three paintings, one point each. So this question is total for four points. So with that, we end today's quiz. But I will move on in a rapid fashion 
and circle back to all these questions so question 15 you have already seen question number 14 is extension question number 13 is enric bernard jam factory grana asturias lollipops investors left italian major owns it uh, madonna one cent his product and a very 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 iconic painter has a connect with it so think of apple jam factory owners and what it might be so question number 12 name the company and founder don't go on his looks he's a pretty pretty inspiration and pioneering guy in his sector i suppose he is so think of a company a company which you might have heard of in connection with the sport world if i might say so and just give me the company and if you can also the founder but please don't google so question 11 db gupta professor of chem bombay 5000 from wife and give me this company which is in news although for negative reasons last year but yeah they might just might have a huge breakthrough so question 11 question 10 1940 blitzkrieg royal air force secret radar tech popular myth around this vegetable so give me the most interesting vegetable you can think of so question number nine a third entry in this list payel conquistador un film de federico fellini probably a sajaritra influence ah uh, just a minute hello okay so we have a clarification coming in question number nine was this third entry in this list so i want to go back to question 11 to 13 so 11 db gupta 12 was this guy and his company and 13 so you had to id this brand so question 11 to 13 had a theme to it so you might just want to think about question 11 to 13 with a theme and let's think about a theme okay so i have this clarified clarified from the quiz master question 11 12 and 13 have a theme so added points for the theme so question number 10 was bridge creek where we left off question number nine was la nuit de cabiria question number eight was this xy early 1950s to 60s repression and censorship in the soviet union millions of soviet political prisoners and why is a word that means a period of warm weather so an appropriate word for the place we are talking about give me the two word term okay question number seven 14 prime ministers of india which are the other two states just give me two states pretty straightforward uh, this is uh, bahubali and 300 mixed in one which animal is the inspiration for this formation and it's not like bahubali it really exists so just think of something question number six i'll move on 15 balbi singh and shiva keshwan one or two times four times with shiva keshwan pretty uh, one of these guys is a pretty huge great in his field a uh, famous center forward and he they had some side sort of an honor connecting them question number four was bird lived in grassland scrubland a famous uh, sports guy famous football guy and a famous psychological thriller writer so just combine them and give me a word that may not make sense to you but it should make sense as maori so think of maori plus football plus writer Question number three, India Park, India China, and of course, there's only uh, one popular permutation combination remaining. 
So just give me x and y and give me x and y that's it i'm going to say anything about the question number two invite to referee all this a pretty uh, amateur goalkeeper billiards player crow pro beacon golf club but a famous doctor as well but he's known for his writings of a famous 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 thing so name this mystery man if you have got on that one word which blurted out so you might have got this Question number two, question one. Literal meaning of this procession is sacred and that which is forbidden to one set of believers, martyrdom, and, and blah blah blah. Which annual procession are we talking about? Pretty sacred and pretty uh, forbidden. So, so think about what I was written in the question and just connect it with something sacred, forbidden, and pretty pretty forbidden and uh, shocking to look at as well so with that we'll end today's set and i have two announcements so i have two announcements to make the first announcement is that uh, i have a correction for yesterday's answers and that is abhishek patil has a score of four 15 points so pretty impressive Abhishek so you come on second after Anita Basu Roy and another one is that Anita Di will be hosting day after tomorrow's set it's on Bollywood so guys please do not miss the Bollywood quiz on 24th of April same time and this is me your host Sapnik Sarkar and I am signing off with it has to be a mandatory thank you slide right so yeah thank you guys for joining in and this is home run quizzes bye for now